Hey guys, it's Thomas here. So I've been using Final Cut Pro to edit YouTube videos on my Mac for two to three years by now. And one issue I've always had was my Final Cut library files have always taken 50, 60, 70, 100 gigabytes out of 250 gigabytes on my Mac. So I always run out of file size. I can have a 10 minute video and it takes up 80 gigabytes in the Final Cut Pro size. So today I'm going to be showing you how to fix that issue and you can reduce your file size by half, by, you know, 75%. Just the other day I was editing and I reduced a 100 gigabyte file to 25 gigabytes. So let's get right into the tutorial. Alright, so we're in Final Cut on my Mac and I have a 25 minute video, which normal exported should take about 3 gigabytes, maybe Final Cut size 10 or 15 gigabytes. And so we're just going to check my file size. We're going to click on the little library marker in the top left corner, click on our library. And then on the far right in the library properties, we can see it's taking 80 gigabytes. That is way more space than it should be taking. So a quick explanation as to why this is occurring, you can just click on your background tabs button and as you can see, whenever you stop editing a video, it will do its background render. Now these renders will add up over time and it will render every time you make an edit on your video and they will take up a lot of space because when they make a new render, they don't delete the old one. Stopping this is pretty easy. In the top left corner of your computer, click Final Cut Pro then hit preferences, then hit playback, then uncheck background render. Now that will stop the background render from happening. So that may slow down your uh, exports a little bit because you won't have a, a renders prepped. And when you click on export, it will have to render again, but it will not be detrimental at all to your video quality. But as you can see, our library file size is still 81 gigabytes. So to get rid of the old library files, you're going to click on File, and then below it, you can click on Delete Generated Library Files. Now basically, this is how we delete our old renders. So we're going to click on it, and then it will open up a menu right here, and you're going to check Delete Render Files. Now we're going to click Unuse Only to delete our old background renders, or you can click All and it will delete all of your renders. The downside to clicking all is that if your video is already rendered, when you export, you just have to write the new video file. But if you delete the render, then you'll have to re-render before uh, writing the final video file. So it could take a little while longer. Just a quick tip um, to figure out if your video is rendered or not. Just look on your timeline and you see those dots above the timestamp. When there's dots there, it means that those seconds have been rendered already. But we're just going to click unused only and then we're going to hit OK. And as you can see now, if I go into my, uh, here, hold on a sec, it's loading a bit. If I go into my library, now my file size reduced from 80 gigabytes to 34 gigabytes. That is a big file reduction. And that's pretty much it, easy as that. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. And if you did, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I put a lot of time and effort into these videos and it really means a lot. Thanks so much.